Joel Embiid and the Sixers fell in Boston Tuesday. Tonight, the home opener with the Bulls in town at Wells Fargo. And later, the first game that counts for LeBron as a Laker. He has arrived at Moda Center in Portland as they take on the Blazers in game two of our double dip. The NBA's opening week continues on TNT. It is TNT NBA tip-off presented by Auto Trader. The Bulls and the Sixers called by Kevin Harlan, Reggie Miller, and Allie LaForce. And then the Lakers and Blazers with Marv Albert, Chris Weber, and Kristen Ledlow. Here in Atlanta Studio J, Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Have we mentioned it's his 20th season uh, on TNT? Yeah, I think we, I think oh, we me? did that. Oh, oh me. I oh, think me. we did that. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I got no gifts at yeah. all. Oh, you did get a gift. You got a you got, plaque. You got your little plaque. You got your little plaque. Yeah, yeah. That, that plaque I used. That the little bottom acrylic of thing. Yeah. No, I put it on the bottom of my shoe <laughs> as a heel. All right. <laughs> Charles Barkley is also here. Uh, the auto make trader. Me, make me want to quit my job. The auto <laughs> trader. Play I, don't want, I, don't, I don't want to be a 20 years that little crappy gift you got. We're not really comparing LeBron to anybody right here. We're just looking at his numbers and seeing what he might achieve. Are you comparing him to the four guys yeah. that's on the list? Yeah. What do you mean? Well, I mean, you're, you're right in, in that regard. Okay. But here's what he needs to pass MJ for fourth in points. 1255. So he could get that this year. He can, he can pass Shaq for sixth in field goals with 51. He needs 317 assists to pass Andre Miller. You're not going to get that. Get in the top 10. And uh, I don't think he's going to get the 65 wins to pass Kevin Garnett for 11th this year. Nope. No. But here's my question. If you are a young player on the Los Angeles Lakers, what would be your advice to a young player on the Lakers? Oh. Say you're about to play with LeBron James. My advice would be be ready. He's a, a pass-first attacker. You know, he definitely likes to attack and get other people involved. Uh, he has three dishes, especially when he was Miami. He always looked for Mike Miller. So if you're a shooter, shooters must be ready. Get to your spot. LeBron will find you. Shooter with confidence and run. Uh, on missed shots, LeBron likes to run, so get him in the ball and run and just have fun and play. You know, of course, you got everybody watching. Uh, the pressure will be on you guys, but the pressure is not on you as a player. But whatever you're a specialist at, be ready. If you're a shooter, be ready. If you're a slasher, be ready. If you're a rebounder, be ready, because LeBron will bring all of that up. What would you tell the Brandon Ingrams and the Lonzo Balls and the Kyle Kuzmas of the world? I, I've been there, honestly. And the first thing I would do, my seat would be like from me to you, Ernie. Right. And I'd just be observing everything. And then as the year go on, if my seat would just move closer and closer and closer until I'm attached to the hip of him because he understands things that, I, that I'm that i trying to go through, want to go through, or may not ever go through. And so his knowledge of the game, his experience is invaluable. And I used to do that with coaches. I used to start at the like middle of the bus, and by the end of the bus, I was sitting next to Bill Russell. Right. And I started in the back with Coach Smith and by the Dean Smith, the late great, and I'd be close to it. You have to absorb that up if you want to be part of greatness and you won an NBA championship because the reason I know I'm sitting here at TNT is because I was on two NBA championship teams. There are guys who were better players, who had better careers, made more money, made more all-stars that won't get to talk basketball because they didn't win championships. And by the way, this is your 20th year. And my um, 20th year deal. But here's, here's, <laughs> the, here's the thing. Uh, and Rajon Rondo, you know, brings that experience also to this team. But he says, look, and, and he's – He's well known, Rondo, for being a real student of the game and breaking down things. He said, he says, when I try to share that with the guys, you know, maybe somebody listens. But when LeBron says it, everybody, and he, he talks about a flight that they're on in the preseason, LeBron's breaking down video and everybody on the plane is all eyes and ears. Well, and I think that's probably the problem. When you play with a great player, the game gets so much easier for you. Because, listen, let me tell you something, Dick. The Portland Trailblazers are going to have everything LeBron does well. They, they're not going to be worried about all these other guys. These other guys just got to play. He's going to make their life so much easier. When you're a great player, there's so much pressure on you. There's so much attention on you. You got your hands full. For the other guys, I always thought, like, dude, all you got to do is play. Uh, if I, you open, shoot it. It's very it's, basketball is a simple game, Ernie. 
If you're open, shoot it. If you're not pass, uh, not open, pass it. But when you would a, a great player, just makes your life easier. I, I'm laughing.